What's up everybody? John from Old Reading Farm here. My hair's a little out of control today. Sorry about that. Looking very anti-gravity. Anyway, today's video is a good one. They're all good ones though, right? There's no bad ones. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether or not we're going to get a new animal on the farm. And now I can hear my mother-in-law right now saying, John, you're supposed to rein her in. You're supposed to rein her in. But in this one, Catherine has nothing to do with it. It's just me on my own. Or at least that what's, that's what Catherine wants you to believe. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, but first, got all these pumpkins from our pump, Pumpkins for Packers event. I'm going to bring them down to the chickens, cut up a couple, and give them to the chickens and see how they like them. And uh, then we'll do some chatting. Well, I was supposed to film myself tossing out of the pumpkins out of the trailer on the ground, but <sighs> missed it. Anyway, pretty good haul of pumpkins. I wonder if emus can eat pumpkins. Maybe I'll take a quick look online and see. But now I'm going to give uh, some of the pumpkins to the chickens. All right, so jury's still a little bit out. Uh, the internet says that emus can eat pumpkins, and I'm sure that they will really enjoy the seeds. So <laughs> they're not a hundred percent sure about it quite yet. It's not a fan of the texture, but we'll see. What do you think? You guess. I guess they don't really like it. That's okay. You guys don't have to like it. So this is my favorite part. Look at the little Moran meeting we have over the pumpkin. No, I just scared them all away, but. You know, these guys, which are wheat and Morans, were kind of scared. But you see the Orpingtons are loving it. Yum, 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 yum. It's a big hit. Look at the little guys. What do you guys think? You like the pumpkin? Wow, these guys are loving it big time. Yum, yum, yum. I knew the Samanis would like it. They love treats. So. We still have plenty more pumpkins to go. So this will be a nice way to, uh, you know, supplement their feed a little bit. And also to just give them a treat, you know. It's fun to give treats to your chickens, right? Everybody likes that feeling. So. The reason why I brought you down here today is to talk about whether or not we should bring a new type of animal to the farm. So, for those of you who know us, you know that uh, usually the precipitous, the start, whatever, of us getting new animals is usually Catherine. But on this one, you know, something we talked about for a long time, it's actually one of the first animals we ever talked about getting, but we ended up not getting. And so really, it's sort of driven by what we want to do down here. So we are in the quote unquote flower farm. The reason why I say it like that is because it is a quote unquote flower farm. Like there are flowers planted here, but none of them really grow. 
and you know we're sort of just kind of wondering what we should do down here because I mean it looks pretty desolate not a very favorable location and things didn't really grow so we had a few options and you know a long time ago we did a video about what we were gonna do down here and we talked about building some raised beds that were fenced in because you know we have deer and stuff so we can't just plant more stuff in the ground but then there's also the cost of bringing in soil because I don't know what it is about the soil down here or really anywhere that we have it's just not really conducive to growing you know we did have some success with the a little plot where we had some dahlias and zinnias and sunflowers planted but that was all with compost and it was the same thing with the grass that we planted we had to bring in a giant load of compost just to get grass to really take root and take hold so that that's expensive and to we already put we put topsoil down here along with some fill to just raise the grade up a little bit so we already spent a ton of money down here so to spend more money on more soil just doesn't really seem like the right thing to do then our thought was let's break this quadrant up and we will just build raised beds look how crazy my hair looks i just took a shower yesterday i promise i don't know why it's so ridiculous today so then we thought raised beds because if we did raised beds we wouldn't need as much soil and since we have the sawmill and we have a ton of wood it's not like we would have to spend a bunch of money on lumber it would just take a lot of time and you know labor expense to build everything but then in terms of like compost that would probably cut our soil bill in half if not more if we did that you know again it would just take a long time and so down here it's like about an something like an acre maybe maybe half an acre actually because i think my math is not very good and if any of you know my history you know i'm not very good at math anyway so so to do that math 32 divided by 5 is what <laughs> you get a calculator less than 32 divided by 5 a little more than six six so, so we need about 14 pickets for the long side equals 13. times two is 12.8 so it's oh, th do for the math. two long 32. sides okay and then we need do you want me to check 13. this so we need uh 26 by five, five. Divided by half five is about five so 31. <laughs> <laughs> so you know we have four quadrants down here and just so anyway the other option which again Catherine is not responsible for plausible deniability um, the other option was sheep and you know it had always sort of been a joke like well you know if the flower farm doesn't work we'll just put alpacas down there we'll just put sheep down there we'll just put goats down there you know whatever and you know it, it does sort of make sense because we have alpacas we have a lot of alpacas now but you know since we are a fiber farm you know maybe flowers aren't going to be the thing I just don't know why it's so bouncy anyway you're just gonna have to deal with it look at me maybe if I go like this is this better is that okay there we go perfect so anyway sheep 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 but anyway um We'd always talked about getting sheep. In fact, sheep were going to be the first livestock that we ever got, um, but then we couldn't find any at the time, and Cat ended up finding alpacas, and as they say, the rest is history. So, now here we are, down here, talking about sheep. Because the other aspect of this is our peacock house. And now the peacock house was a massive, massive failure because a raccoon decided that he didn't want us to have peacocks anymore and you know we did spend a lot of money setting this up this was before we had a sawmill so that whole thing is built with store-bought lumber you know it's got aviary netting on top chicken wire all the way around and it took a long time a lot of, a lot of hours and sweat to build so it's sad but that raccoon took out two of our peacocks and that's you know they were not cheap so 
you know, no matter how much we've talked about putting like a hot wire around the top or something like that, um, Catherine and I both feel that unless it's something that we can actually put away and shut in at night, it's not worth putting something else in there. So what we're talking about doing is pulling this down, basically taking the shed off of there, basically just putting a sheep house somewhere over here. Because we're still far enough away from the property line to have a house here. And then, you know, it's, it's also close enough to the chicken village and the alpacas and blah, blah, blah. It is sad that we're gonna like take this away. You know, I'm also excited at the possibility of going and getting new animals as I always am. So there's actually a farm in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, which is like an hour and a half away from us that has natural colored Merino sheep. And so if you know anything about fiber, you know, Merino is very nice. And it's also something that gets mixed with alpaca a lot. In that vein, you know, maybe it would be good to also have some wool products or, you know, our own Merino that we could then process and spin into alpaca. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. But I do think some new animals down here would be good. And, you know, you know, we did the whole pumpkins for packets thing and everybody asked what was in here. You know, I kept having to tell the story over and over again about how we used to have peacocks, but we don't anymore. A raccoon decided he didn't want us to have peacocks anymore, and it's a sad story. What is going on? I don't know why. <laughs> this is, you know, okay, so I'm going trans to transition now to John's hair. What do you guys think? Should I shave it all off? What do you think? Just get the buzzer and just zoop right off there? I don't need this anymore, right? I would look good bald? Question mark? No, Catherine would kill me, but uh, someday, because this hairline, it's running away. But anyway, so I w now I want to pass the question off to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think sheep would be a good asset on the farm? I've also heard that they are very cuddly, and that's one of the reasons why in a couple weeks I'm going to go visit this farm, because it's going to be one of the few days where we don't have a craft show. This weekend we have two, and... Yeah, so I'm gonna go visit the sheep, sheep and see if they are cuddly. And then I'm gonna do this without Catherine's consent. Right, plausible deniability because Catherine doesn't wanna be held responsible for the family going nuts when we get sheep. But I think as long as they're cuddly, you know, then we'll probably, <laughs> probably get them. So we'll see. But um, anyway, what do you guys think? You know, I want to hear your opinions. Do you think we should get sheep? Because the other thing that we were looking at was Angora goats, because then we can get Angora fiber. Also, what was the other thing? Was it Angora? What gives you mohair? I forget. Anywho. So that's what we're thinking about. And I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. So please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And as always, please subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.